Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. Do you need to organize your vast library of thousands of photos and videos but don't want to pay a subscription to Lightroom? Stick around because in today's video, we're going to be looking at the top 10 features of ACDC Photo Studio for the Mac. The company claims ACDC Photo Studio is the all-in-one solution for anyone who takes and edits a lot of photos and wants to keep them organized. ACDC, as of this writing, costs 80 US dollars for a perpetual license. ACDC is a huge software with a ton of features, so I've prepared 10 standout features for you to consider if you need photo management or asset management capabilities. So let's get right into the top 10 features. Just like other cataloging software, Photo Studio 9 includes a default database which stores image and media information such as the photo's thumbnails, metadata, original file location, and others. The unique feature of Photo Studio 9's implementation is unlike others which require an import function, in Photo Studio 9, the cataloging is automatically done when you browse your photos, and it is done in the background. Another nice feature of Photo Studio 9 is it allows you to create multiple databases and switch between them at any time, giving you complete organizational control over your file collections. For example, you can create a home database which contains your personal photos and a separate work database containing all your work-related photos. I thought that's pretty useful. To create a new database, simply go to File, Database, and then New. A dialog will open where you can specify the name of the database and folder location. As you can see, it's very easy in Photo Studio to determine where your database is located. Its accessibility makes it easy to do things like opening, copying, or backing up your database to another drive. As I've mentioned, to add a file to your database, simply browse the folder. It's really as simple as that. ACDC will begin the cataloging process in the background. It will extract the thumbnails, EXIF metadata, and even face information automatically and in the background. In fact, if you go to the Finder, you can actually see the database file increasing in size, demonstrating the, the cataloging process is working in the background. At number two is the Organize panel. Photo Studio's Organize panel allows you to rate, group, and search for your files. The main thing I like about this panel is it's always readily accessible at the right side of the screen, and all the relevant functions are easy to find. The Organize panel allows you to do number ratings and color labels, with each having a clearly defined section. You can rate multiple files at once by first selecting the files and then clicking on the corresponding number or label. Alternatively, you can also use the keyboard to do the rating or labeling. Another nice feature which Photo Studio supports is categories. Categories allow you to group files in a way that makes sense to you. Photo Studio's categories work similar to albums, except you do not move the file from its folder or create an extra copy, which is always a good thing. To create the category, you simply have to go to the category section of the organized pane or panel, click the plus button and specify the name. To add files to the category, you first select the files and then check the appropriate category. It's as easy as that. A nice touch is an icon is added in the file to indicate that it is added to the category. You can also view categories by clicking on the corresponding entry in the section. The operation is pretty fast, as you can see. The next standout feature is metadata support. Searching for a particular photo among thousands can be a time-consuming task. Photo Studio 9 aids in this process by providing the ability to add keywords and detailed descriptions into photo metadata. Both EXIF and IPTC is supported and is available in the Properties panel. Once the information is added, you can use the quick search box to match a keyword with the photos. If that's not enough, Photo Studio 9 also supports adding keywords to the database itself 
instead of IPTC or EXIF metadata. You do that in the keyword section of the organized panel. The interface and operation is practically the same as categories and ACDC doesn't give any guidelines on how to use each one. So I suppose it's really up to you. I've seen some posts saying that they use categories for more broad classifications and then use keywords for more granular specific descriptions. While most photo managers are limited to photo and video file types, Photo Studio 9 is unique in its ability to work with any file type. This means that you can use Photo Studio as a general file manager to help organize and search for non-media formats like MS Office documents, web pages, text files, and others. As you can see, Photo Studio not only shows the image files, but also the metadata of DxO and ON1. It also does a good job of visually representing each file type with a relevant icon to avoid confusion on which file type you are looking at. While Photo Raw has a capable photo editor, you may prefer the results given by third-party tools. The good news is Photo Studio 9 allows you to configure external editors making it a great jumping point to open files in other applications. To add an external editor, ensure you are in manage mode. Two finger tap the photo gallery, choose external editors, and click configure external editors. From the dialog, just choose the app. After adding the app, you're going to see the editor appear on a list. To open a file in the editor, just right-click on the image, choose external editors, and select the editor of your choice. It's as simple as that. So there you have it, five standout features of ACDC Photo Studio 9 for the Mac. In the next video, we're going to be looking at the standout features from 6 to 10. So I'm going to see you there. And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share to keep the videos coming. See you in part two.